I'm often asked is, what's the difference between a limited edition print and an artist's proof? If you were buying or considering buying either, then it's well worth knowing the difference between the two. A signed limited edition print is a copy of an original piece of art that is reproduced in a limited number. Of course, the value of the original painting will exceed that of a limited edition print. However, prints can still be extremely valuable. The reason the prints are limited is because the artist only releases a specific number of them. The artist will usually sign each copy of the print and number them. The number of prints created will always be shown on the print itself. To give you an example, Endless, our favourite, will produce an original piece of work on canvas. He will then take certain pieces and produce 25 limited edition prints on paper. He will then sign and he will number these. Where Endless changes the rules and reinvents the wheel in typical Endless style, he adds value to his limited edition pieces by carefully hand finishing and embellishing each piece, adding specific detail, therefore making every piece slightly unique while still being classed a limited edition print. Banksy is another famous artist who reinvents or breaks the rules with regards to limited edition prints. Banksy will produce a number as many as 500 limited edition pieces, whilst only signing 100 to 150 pieces. What's fascinating about the Banksy market is that even unsigned prints can go for well over £30,000. An artist's proof is slightly different. When an artist is creating a run of prints, there will be sent proofs to check that they're happy with the colour and quality of the limited editions before they print all of the editions. These initial artist proofs do not typically count to the prints that are created. Traditionally, artist proofs remain the property of the artist, but in modern times, they're often sold at the same time as the limited edition prints. So artist proofs are exactly the same in terms of how they are printed, the colour, the quality, and the paper, etc. Artists then number of them with traditionally Roman numerals and then with the mark AP to mark it as an artist proof. Of course, they also sign them to exactly the same way as a limited edition print. Naturally, there are not that many artist proofs released. However, between 10 to 15% of the limited edition run is released as an artist proof and artist proofs can typically be anywhere between 25 to 50 percent more expensive. In the case of Endless he only usually produces three or four artist proofs or APs as they are known and these pieces are usually given between his friends or long-time supporters. Banksy again is a rule breaker in the AP department of course. The reason being is you'll notice that APs occasionally come up for sale which are slightly different from his limited edition pieces. For example, in the famous Banksy piece titled The Girl with the Balloon. Whereas the balloon in the traditional piece is red, in the AP it is yellow. Another piece um, that I thought the law, typically the writing is orange, however in the AP the writing is purpley pink. Again, astonishingly, I have seen these APs up for sale for significantly higher prices than normal limited edition pieces. And of course, with the artist being the infamous Banksy, we're talking with well in the excess of £100,000. There are many other types of limited edition pieces which I look forward to introducing you to in the future, but for now, I hope you've enjoyed the watching and listening to me today. I hope this video has been enjoyable and as it is informative. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and share with a friend and be sure to follow us on our social media platforms.